What's up YouTube, it's Coach Corey, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get 10 minutes on Robo Rumble on the map Pachinko Park. I got a personal best of 9 minutes and 55 seconds, and I'm going to show you guys the recording of that gameplay, and I'm pretty positive I can beat 10 minutes, and I'm sure you guys can too with this strategy. So, let me explain how this strategy works and what you have to do. So first off, as far as the team comp, you need a Colt, you need a Barley, and you need a Ricochet, and each one has a specific role. So one of the main ways this comp works is each of those three players places themselves in certain spots on the map, and it forces the robots to spawn in the top right-hand corner, and this allows you to kill the robots efficiently and easily you can use your super and hit all of them at once it makes it much easier to kill them as you get later on in the waves and there's five to ten robots for one wave and they all have you know four to five digit health ten thousand health it becomes very important to be able to use your supers effectively and you pretty much use your super and you get it right back so it's very good and i will show you guys how to do this so first off for the first picture this is where the Colt stands. He's going to be right there. It's important that he's on one of those two squares. That way, no robots spawn on the safe. So what the Colt is going to do, pretty much the Colt is there because he moves the fastest. That's honestly the most important position as far as where the robots spawn, but it also probably does the least amount of work. For the first two minutes, the Colt really doesn't have to do anything, honestly. He can just sit there and shoot the wall and make sure he doesn't get idle warning. Um, he'll have to help kill the boss, but other than that, he really doesn't have to do anything for the first two minutes. He's just going to sit there, make sure no one spawns on the safe, and then he will move up a little bit and shoot, and he can shoot directly this way on any robots that come. Um, that's pretty much all he's going to do, really. He's just going to shoot like that. If any of you get in trouble, he can even come up a little more, a little further up, and he can start shooting even sooner. But he really doesn't have to do, mu do much. Um, you can maybe have him charge up his super for the first boss. But it's really not that important. The first boss is pretty easy. And then as far as the ricochet. Alright, so this is a better picture. So this shows the three positions that each of your teammates and yourself are going to be in. The Colt is on bottom. The ricochet is in the middle. And he is always pretty much... Oh, uh, that's the wrong thing. I need an arrow. Not an arrow. Ricochet is always going to be shooting over here. In general, he honestly... Now, one thing is you don't want to get too far forward. Like, you don't want to be get over here with Ricochet before wave starts as that then you'll be able to see pretty much the whole corner of the map and it doesn't allow the robots anywhere to spawn, so they sort of just spawn randomly. So you can't be too far forward if you're the Ricochet. You want to be basically in between those two walls right there and then you're just going to be shooting here, shooting here, shooting here. That's all you're really going to be doing. Pretty simple. And then the Barley is always going to be over here they're always going to be over there and they're going to go in a clockwise motion around that blue thing and as they're doing that they're throwing here in general right so that's pretty much it that's the gist of it you just stand in those three spots it forces the robots to all come down in this area they're all going to come down there and that's the gist of it. So let's get into some gameplay so you guys can really see what I'm talking about. Oh, real quick, just I'm going to show it as a picture. This is what it looks like. Everyone comes down the middle. The Barley Super is over here. You're going to have your Ricochet Super down there. You're going to hit a bunch of them at once. Uh, yeah, and then the Culkin Super too. All right, I'll explain it with gameplay though. All right, so this is what it looks like in action. So basically, Barley Supers, Ricochet Supers, Colt Can Super. It's going to depend on the wave. If you're, once you're in the later waves, you're going to end up everyone supering pretty much. So some things to note. Bosses spawn on wave 7, 14, and 21. And after that, there are no more bosses. You only get more robots. You end up getting you know 5 to 10 robots, depending on the type, the wave. It's essentially random what you get. It's always going to change. But one thing that does stay the same is every wave lasts 13 seconds except for boss waves, which lasts 25. Now, this is important because as a cult, you're going to have to know this because if you don't get back in time, robots will spawn on your safe. This can also happen if any of your teammates die. It's going to be hard to get the area coverage to make the robots spawn uh, where you want them to. 
So for bosses, um, usually after there's a boss wave, the next two waves are pretty easy and you probably never need to super on those waves. You can, but usually you don't get a lot of value. Now, after you get to about the four minute mark, you're gonna have to have at least your Colt or your Ricochet super every wave. And usually you just want one of them. If you're having both, they're probably not gonna be able to charge up their supers enough for the next waves. Um, after about six minutes, maybe five minutes, the Barley's gonna wanna super pretty much every wave. Barley's gonna get his super back pretty quickly. So it's always important that he does, and he does great area damage. Um, and then once you get to about the seven or eight minute mark, you need to have your Barley, or sorry, your Colt and Ricochet probably need to super every wave. But here's how you know, if you don't have your super at the start of the wave, you probably don't want to, unless neither of you have it, then you need to no matter what. But if you don't have your super, if let's say you're one shot away, that's fine. You can get that one shot pretty easily. But if you're about halfway to the next super and the wave starts and you're at seven or eight minutes, you're not gonna get it in time for the most part. You're gonna end up using it too late and then you're gonna be stuck again the next wave not having your super. So if you're not able to get your super before the later waves start, try to save it. Um, you may end up having to use it, but for the most part, you should be fine as long as the Barley has his super and uh, your other ranged friend has their super. So one important thing to note though is as far as the spawning, the boss spawns a little bit different. So whenever it's a boss wave right before, try and have the Barley come to where the Ricochet is because the boss spawns sort of weird and he can actually spawn on the safe. He can spawn like right next to you. So you want to give him more room to spawn, more places where he has potential spawn points. That way he's not spawning right on top of you. All right, so now I'll let you guys watch the whole strategy from start to finish, just so you can see how we play with all different scenarios. Now, one thing I would like to point out is if you're not in like a Discord call with someone to be able to determine who uses what super when, one thing you can do is if you want to use your super, you can just flash it. Um, that way the, your teammates know, okay, that guy's about a super, I'll save mine. Or, you know, very later on, it doesn't really matter. But for the four minutes to seven minute mark, that can definitely matter. So I would recommend doing that. All right, so that is the strategy. Let me guys know in the comments below if you have any questions. I will be sure to try and answer them all. I hope you all enjoyed. This is the strategy that got me 9.55, which is the best time in the world at the time of this recording. And it's the best time by two minutes over the second place team. So this is definitely the best strategy out there for Robo Rumble. And I have to make sure to give credit to Nicomus and XYX for developing this strategy and helping me learn it and perfect it and figure it out. So I hope this guys, or I hope this helped you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave the gameplay up with some music just for you guys to enjoy and see how we dealt with different scenarios. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later.